Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to our time of worship together. Let us begin this morning by placing our symbols. So as I place the Bible, we think of God the Father and we say, Father, we are here, we are here for you. As I place the cross, we think of Jesus, God's Son, and we say, Jesus, we are here, we are here for you. And as I light the candle, we think of God, the Holy Spirit, and we say, Holy Spirit, we are here, we are here for you. So, let us think. For the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at some of the people who may have made a difference in our lives and the lives of others. Now today I'm thinking of someone really special. I'm thinking about the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. Now this year is a very special year. It's the year of her Platinum Jubilee. Now that's 70 years on the throne as Queen. Wow, that's incredible, isn't it? And we will be having a special day, a special celebration in our half term in May and June when we think about these particular special times. So there will be an opportunity to find out more. But let me give you a brief outline. Princess Elizabeth, as she was, she was born on April the 21st in 1926. That's quite a long time ago. 95 years old she is. Now her father became King George VI and he died very suddenly actually on February the 6th in 1952. And that meant that Princess Elizabeth had succeeded to the throne. Queen Elizabeth, as she was, was just 25 years old. She was a, a young wife. She was a mother to Prince Charles and Prince, Princess Anne. And it must have been really, really difficult. The Queen is the longest reigning and the oldest monarch in all time. And this year, well soon, in April, it will be her 96th birthday. Just think about that. Do you know anybody else who's coming up to a 96th birthday? Do you know someone who's even older? That's incredible. So, why is the Queen special? And why should we celebrate her Platinum Jubilee? Well, for me, the Queen the Queen is really special and her work as Queen is individual. She sees her whole life as a life that's been given to public service, to voluntary service. And even now, at 95 years old, she's still working. Now there aren't many 95 year olds who are doing that, are there? She works for over 600 charities and some of those are big international charities and others are quite small, but they have a special meaning to her. Now, when the Queen was just 21 years old, she said some very special words and I'm going to read them to you now. She said, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service. But I shall not have the strength to carry out this resolution alone, unless you join in it with me, as I now invite you to do. 
I know that your support will be unfailingly given. God help me to make good my vow and God bless all of you who are willing to share in it. Wow, what a promise that whether her life is long or short, she will be devoted to the service of her country and her people. That's me and you. So she said that when she was just 21 years old. And then she said a few words at her coronation, which were six years later. And this is what she said on her coronation. That's when she got her crown and was formally made into our queen. These are her words. When I spoke to you last, I asked you all, whatever your religion, to pray for me on the day of my coronation, to pray that God would give me the wisdom and the strength to carry out the promises that I would then be making. I have been uplifted and sustained by the knowledge that your thoughts and prayers were with me. That seems amazing to me. Now the Queen, in her 95 years, has seen huge changes in the, in the world. When she was younger, in the Second World War, she volunteered to become a driver. And she'd worked throughout her whole life. She's the mother of four children, a grandmother and a great-grandmother. And she's the head of state. And she's also the head of the Church of England. She continues to play an important part in the laws of our country. And she's sovereign over 14 different countries and the head of the Commonwealth. In fact, this week, the Queen will be marking the Commonwealth Day when countries from within the Commonwealth get together and celebrate. Now, although being a queen may seem easy and a luxury even, imagine all those precious jewels, diamonds, anything you want at any time. I still don't think I'd like to be queen. Lots of people want your time. Lots of people to shake hands with, to smile at and to stand and meet. And, do you know, I like to be able to make my own toast and beans on toast and put my feet up sometimes. But I bet that's not something the Queen does. I don't know. And for me, the worst bit would be having a camera stuck in your face all the time. Can you imagine watching everything you do? Every sneeze, every little twitch. Oh, goodness. Anyway, being a queen is not for me, so it's a good job I'm not a princess. But this year, as we plan to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, I'd like you to think how special that celebration will be. The Queen has devoted herself to service, to serving her country and her people. What do you think might be good and not so good about being a Queen or a King? And I'd like you to reflect the Queen believes that God has helped her serve the country and all of its people, that's us. I'd like you to think now of a time when maybe God might have helped you, sometimes even without realising it. Just have a few moments of quiet and think. now it's time
time where I invite you to join me in prayer. But this morning, our prayer is a different kind of prayer. I'm going to read just two sentences to, from the psalm, a psalm that King David wrote in the Old Testament. And it's Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. And God bless our Queen now in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And just before you go, I have one final thing to show you as we say our blessing prayer. Let me just stand up. Look. How big is this it's an amazing size it's our union jack a new flag that is going to be placed at the top of saint chad's tower so look out for union jacks around our country our towns and of course the places where we live father as we go jesus as we go Holy Spirit as we go. Bless us all as we go. Amen.